I mean, it's difficult to say. I, I think, you know, I agree with you in one way that they seem to be calling little stuff um, very severely. And, uh, you know, they're letting some other stuff go, which you'd like to see them, you know, penalize some other things also. But, you know, I mean, the refs are doing a good job. They're doing their, their job, and it's a part of our, um, if we know that, we have to be careful. It's just part of the game. The ref aside, Bruce said that you guys didn't come out as strong as he would have liked. Did, did you feel the difference today as opposed to how you guys came out in Toronto? Did it feel as tight and focused? Um, you know, I can agree with that, I guess. I can agree with that to some extent. I think that you know, I'll give them some credit in saying that they played well and they controlled the midfield, but you know, I also think put it down to us a little bit, you know, a little bit lax and a little bit, you know, not as tight on the men and not willing to make the tackles and put in some of the work. And you know, that's I think that's you know, that's unacceptable for a team. But it happens, and I think the key is next week how we respond to it. I think that's going to be crucial. Um, guys are getting closer to the time when Beckham is going to join the team. Mm -hmm. Um, Who? Beckham, David Beckham. Oh, I didn't understand. Sorry, I'm mumbling. Uh, so now that David is going to be coming back to the team, um, how much of a boost do you think he'll give the squad? Are you guys counting on that at all? Are you just focusing on what you're doing individually? Or is that in the back of your mind that, you know, he's on the way? No, any any time I think you have a player with his quality coming back, I think you you know you got to be you got to be quite excited because he's, he's probably I mean with his with his record and what type of player he is, it's, it's unbelievable you know with his credentials. So I think that we're eagerly awaiting his his return. Alumni game and a lot of uh, ex national team players roaming around. Are you going to get a chance to spend some time with these guys or? I don't know. I'm going to go up there and see. Hopefully some of them are still up there. I, don't know. I mean, I know a lot of them have kids, and it's pretty late. They might be, they might be back, but it's good to see those guys, definitely. So um, aside from the big game, there was the night game before your, guy, before your game. Right. I know you have Bundesliga experience. So how do, what was your feeling on the, the past season for Bundesliga? And it was great. I mean, it was, it was exactly what the fans want. You know, they want a tight finish, and, and they also want another team besides Bayern winning the title. So... It was it was exactly what, what everyone ordered. And bo all, all, you know, both leagues are excited now. They have the, the playoff games to get into the second division, and playoff games to get into the first division. So it made for some exciting games. And uh, also going on, are, there's all the uh, World Cup qual qualifiers. Right. And from have you seen, had a chance to see any of the men's sure. national team? So do you have any comments on I guess young players coming through, how they're doing, and how the team itself is doing, and what do you think? Germany, you mean? Uh, no, U.S. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. U.S. Um, you know, I think I think it's difficult. You know, there's always there's always di you know difficult games, and I think that they responded well from the, from the loss in Costa Rica. And I think you know, that's part of that's going to build character within the group. You know, just responding from from games like that and experiencing games like that because things don't always go your way. And I think. As, as you deal with situations that aren't favorable, you know, you grow as a group, and I think that's what, that's what they're doing now.